World Teachers Day or International Teachers Day will be observed tomorrow, October 5. Narima Ali has more in this report. The education sector has taken a tremendous blow from the pandemic as online teaching is the new norm globally. In Guyana, schools have reopened for nursery and primary levels, but the online platform continues for the secondary and some tertiary institutions. Tomorrow, October 5th, is International Teachers' Day, an occasion where we recognize the indelible contributions made by teachers in the education system. There is a saying that goes, a parent is a child's first teacher, since parents help to develop social skills, but after the child starts the school system, they are introduced to professional teachers. Miss Adeli Minty is a headmistress attached to the Manchester Nursery School, and she shared how she entered the profession as an educator. I'm a teacher. I've started teaching in the year 1998. Well, in the beginning, I didn't really want to teach. I wanted to do nursing, but because I, I, I'm a, a little afraid of what some of the things that nursing entails, so that's why I went into teaching. I was just out of school and nothing to do, so I decided to go into teaching at number two nursery school. I stayed there 22 years and couple months. I've learned so many things at number two nursery school. So many experience I've gained from the parents and also the teachers there. As a young untrained teacher, Miss Minty took the step to advance herself to become a trained teacher. Well, during my time as a teacher, I went to the teacher's training college and after that I went to the University of Guyana, Barbies campus, and then now I'm a head teacher and I'm doing the management program also to advance myself. As a nursery level educator, Miss Minty revealed some of the difficulties she encounters. Well, for the young children, the challenge with them is that, remember they're little, sometimes they come with complain, this person don't want to play with them, or this person don't want to share, and they're very affectionate, they would want to touch you and so, you know. The same thing that they would do with their parents and now during this COVID time we even find it more difficult because they don't understand social distancing and so they want to come and do the same thing that they would normally do at home. And also it's difficult for them also because they, don't, they do not want to wear the face mask. They're not accustomed to it and also they're not comfortable wearing it. So we find a challenge there with them also. In spite of the hardships, Miss Minty is passionate about her job as a teacher. I would say it's the greatest joy that you find at the end of the day when the children can go, out, go home from school or at the end of their nursery life and they can write their name or identify colors, things that they would do that they didn't come in knowing and you, you taught them that. So they leave nursery school knowing a lot of things or even knowing to read. That gives you a joy to know that you made a difference in their young mind. Ms. Adeli left this advice for all students. Take their education seriously. No matter what, schooling is fun. And in later, in later years, they will understand. Probably now they may not. But in later, later years, they will understand that education is very important. When Ms. Adeli is not in the classroom, she is a mother of two, a wife, and the president of the All Saints Anglican Church's Mother's Union. The duties of a nursery level teacher differs from that of a secondary level teacher. Miss Christina Jaipal, a senior mistress attached to the Tutorial Academy High School, shared how she became an educator. On November 12, 1997, I would have entered the teaching profession. Uh, it was not something that I had wanted at first, it was the last thing on my mind. But after applying the entire of New Amsterdam, all of the business entities and so, I wasn't getting a job and so I needed something. So I tried my luck. I applied at the Department of Education and on the 12th of November I was at home and I received a call. The call was from the headmaster of St. Teresa's Primary School. And you know what he said? He said, you know, um, are you Christina? I said, yes, sir. He said, well, I have a letter here that, that was a Thursday, I remember clearly. He said, well, I have a letter here and it, it says that you were supposed to turn out to work at St. Teresa since the Monday. So I wasn't informed, but the school was informed. And so I, on that day, I entered St. Teresa's primary. And from then on, 
I taught there for approximately two years and while I was there you know I was talking with the headmaster and so on he was advising me to get into teachers training college but um I said sir I don't want to be in this profession for any time long you know but he said girl take my advice and so I applied for teachers training but I had always wanted to be a secondary school teacher so I started the secondary program and it was three years then the training and while I was there in January of 2000 I received my transfer and I was placed at New Amsterdam multilateral where I taught from January 2000 until October 2018. Ms. Jaipal alluded to the impact that this career has had on her life. As a teacher, teaching is not just going into the classroom and delivering the curriculum. Teaching has many benefits and many challenges. And one of the things that I admire or why I pursue teaching is that I get to help students in so many ways. You know, over my 24 years in the profession, this year I'm celebrating 24 years, over that time I would have murdered so many persons, I would have inculcated um, academic skills, moral skills, qualities and so on in persons and I just love the profession. But you know today many persons feel that teaching is a walk in the park. But teaching is not just going into the classroom and teach from 8 to 2 or 8 to 2 30 and that's it. There are so many behind the scene things that have to be completed, you know. You, you have to become a mother in the classroom. You have to become a detective to solve cases and things that may come up. You have to become a counselor. You may have to become a doctor or a nurse when these children injure themselves and so on. There's so many other things that teaching comes with. But like I said, it's my passion and although I didn't want to do it, I wouldn't leave it for any other job. She was very clear on stating that she is tired of the online teaching platform. I've had enough and I really miss the classroom. I would like to get back into the classroom, but we know the situation, we just have to wait on the right time. But at first, when the pandemic started, it was a real challenge for me online. I wasn't really familiar with all the teaching platforms and all of that. Then I had to find platforms that were suitable for my students who had access to these platforms, whether they had devices, internet connections. For the, I must say, like for the first six months or so into the pandemic, it was a real challenge to get content done and to actually get responses from the students or to know well that, you know what, this lesson is a success the children are doing, their work, I'm getting feedback and so. Her advice to students is? I would always like um, to tell my students that nothing is impossible. You know, the Bible says with God all things are possible. And I always advise my students, follow your dreams, no matter how dim it may look there's always light at the end of the tunnel you know i always try to inspire my students whatever is your dream go after it you can achieve it with hard work when miss jaipal is not a teacher she is a mother of one a wife and an active church member who enjoys traveling at this time dtv8 and channel 8 news wish to extend happy teachers day to all teachers especially those who have been working around the clock since the pandemic Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.